For today's video, we are going to solve quadratic equations by extracting square roots and we are going to explain in details how do we get the answer. On the first example, we have x squared minus 25 equals 0. To find the value of x, we must write the given equation in the form of x squared equals n. And if you're going to find the value of x, we are going to square both sides of the equation that is positive and negative square root of N, and this will be the value of x. On number 1, to find the value of x, let us move negative 25 on the other side of the equation. It will give us x squared equals positive 25. So let us square both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. So x is square root of 25, that is positive and negative 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have x squared minus 11 equals 0. So just like in example number 1, let us move negative 11 on the other side of the equation. It will give us x squared equals positive 11. So let us square both sides of the equation. So the value of x is positive and negative square root of 11. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we have x squared minus 8 equals 0. So let us move negative 8 on the other side of the equation. It will give us x squared equals positive 8. So to find the value of x, let us square both sides. Let us cancel this one. So x is square root of 8. Since 8 is factorable, we are going to find two numbers. If we multiply, we can get 8. Which one of the number is perfect square? And that is 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 is a perfect square. So therefore, the value of x is the square root of 4, that is positive and negative 2, and then we are going to write the square root of 2. And this will be our answer. On number 4, we have 2x squared plus 3 equals 39. So to find the value of x, let us move 3 on the other side. It will give us 2x squared equals 39 minus 3. So let us have 2x squared, 39 minus 3, that is 36. Let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. It will give us x squared, 36 divided by 2, that is 18. So let us square both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. So x is square root of 18. We are going to find two numbers. If we multiply, we are going to have 18, which one of the number is a perfect square. And that is 9 and 2. 9 times 2 is 18, and 9 is a perfect square. So therefore, the value of x is square root of 9, that is positive and negative 3, then square root of 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have quantity x plus 4 squared equals 1. So to find the value of x, let us square both sides of the equation. We are going to have x plus 4 equals positive and negative 1. Since the value of square root of 1 is positive and negative 1, for x plus 4 equals 1, we are going to have x equals 1 minus 4, and that is negative 3. For x plus 4 equals negative 1, we are going to have x equals negative 1 minus 4, and that is negative 5. So therefore, the values of x are negative 3 and negative 5. On number 6, we have quantity 2x minus 1 squared equals 225. Just like in example number 5, let us square both sides of the equation. Let's cancel this one. So this will be 2x minus 1 equals square root of 225, that is positive and negative 15. Since the square root of 225 is positive and negative 15, for 2x minus 1 equals positive 15, on the other side, this will be 2x minus 1 equals negative 15. So let us simplify this one first. This will be 2x 
equals 15. Let us move negative 1 on the other side. That is positive 1. So this will be 2x equals 15 plus 1 is 16. Let us divide both sides by 2. So x is positive 8. On the other side, let us have 2x. Let us move negative 1 on the other side. This will be negative 15 plus 1. So this will be 2x equals negative 15 plus 1 is negative 14. So let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So x is negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. So therefore, the values of x are 8 and negative 7. On example number 7, we have 5 times the quantity x minus 2 squared equals 20. So to find the value of x, let us divide both sides by 5. Let us cancel this one. We are going to have x minus 2 squared. 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So let us square both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. This will be x minus 2 equals square root of 4, that is positive and negative 2. Since the value of square root of 4 is positive and negative 2, 4x minus 2 equals positive 2. On the other side, 4x minus 2 equals negative 2. So let us simplify. Let us move negative 2 on the other side. This will be x equals 2 plus 2. That is 4. And then, this will be x equals negative 2 plus 2. That is 0. So therefore, the values of x are 4 and 0. On our last example, we have 3 times the quantity x squared minus 2 equals 66. To find the value of x, let us divide both sides by 3. Let's cancel this one. This will be x squared minus 2 equals 66 divided by 3, that is 22. And let us move negative 2 on the other side. This will be x squared equals 22 plus 2, that is 24. So let us square both sides of the equation. Let's cancel this one. So x is square root of 24. Since 24 is factorable, we are going to find two numbers which one of the factor is a perfect square. And that is 4 and 6. 4 times 6 is 24 and 4 is a perfect square. So to find the value of x, let us have the square root of 4, and that is positive and negative 2, and then square root of 6, and this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.